Hello YouTube and welcome to Minecrafting with the Vox Season 2, Episode 2. And oh, I almost spoiled it there. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of building, or rather digging. Haha, <laughs> got my trusty pickaxe with me. Got some other random materials. And uh, you might be wondering, where the hell is this guy? This isn't where we left off last episode. No, it's not. I am... Well, right there, obviously, and right behind me is the new location that I wanted to build some stuff. Because, look at this place. Isn't that amazing? It is the biggest mountain biome that I have ever seen. And a mountain biome is confusingly not... Whoa! Careful there, pig! I almost fell off. Alright, that's it. Come on, piggy. Alright, like I was saying, a mountain biome is not per se a mountain. It's just a uh, biome made completely out of clean stone, like this one. And I was thinking that this might be the perfect place to uh, make a make a mine of sorts, a sort of a uh, mining home. I guess I've been playing too much Dwarf Fortress as well, which is why I suddenly feel the urge to dig into a mountain and make my home there. I was thinking that maybe uh, somewhere over here could be like a minecart track that goes in this direction. And then it goes into the mountain, like so. I actually recorded me digging all this, but um, I was really tired. I actually recorded about an hour of footage and ended up uh, just deleting it because it was terrible. But right now, I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty energetic, so I think, um, I think I could actually release this on the YouTube. And as you can see, this is a completely random, uh, random little passage down. And I did that on purpose because I thought that would be... Uh, would be cool, you know, just uh, get into the minecart and go all the way around here and completely lose track of where the hell you are and then end up not so very deep, unfortunately. Um, so let's go a little deeper. Let's, uh, let's dig a little more. Get through this awful, awful gravel. I can't stand gravel. Uh... Oh my god. Okay. Oh. I actually thought I had to do a little speed clicking there, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. We get over here. And then I guess that that should be about right. So let's dig out the floor because I want a nice clean cobblestone floor a clean cobblestone floor that doesn't make any sense does it still you know what I mean let's place that cobblestone there we go placing it like a boss yeah there we go a little light maybe yes Okay, so this is level 40. It's not that deep, but I think it's deep enough. Because it's not really going to be a mine, it's going to be a home. And we have to start off with a little station. So let's, uh, let's chop it, chop it, chop this. There we go. Let's see, you. so you arrive like here. And uh, let's place a torch here for now. And I guess I'll need some kind of, uh, some kind of entrance. Some kind of entryway, entry hole. Do I have any wood with me? Yes, I do. Not too much, though. Okay, let's see. I arrive here, I jump out, I'm completely, uh, completely lost on the mountain. And I see a passageway this way. Yes. Let's hope that these are enough logs. Should have taken some more, but didn't have any. Oh, it's just enough, just right. Okay. And this is where your journey would start. Into the depths of the Wok Wok's mines. The Woxian mines, yes. And there. Let's make a nice... Nice big tunnel here. 
And don't worry, I'm not going to be filming everything. But honestly, I don't have too much time to be playing and or filming today. So, uh, I guess I'll just fill some footage for you guys. Might not be the most interesting to watch. Me digging a hole. But then again, it's Minecraft. What did you expect? You can either dig a hole or build a home. Or do both simultaneously. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Just making some quick lightning. I'll, uh, I'll pretty this up later. I've got some coal over there. That's good. Can make some torches. But for for now, I really need to uh, get some get some storage going. But I kind of want to wait until I have a proper storage room because I hate moving chests once I place them and fill them. Okay, so this is a sort of an entrance, and uh, I guess that I will make a. Square room here because once again I have been playing too much Dwarf Fortress. If you don't know that game, well, shame on you. <laughs> Dwarf Fortress is uh, is possibly the most nerdy game out there. Uh, Minecraft was very loosely based on it. It's a uh, it's a sort of city builder RPG kind of thing uh, where you play a bunch of dwarves that have to. Uh, mine out a mine mountain and uh, start a civilization there and it is really really fun it's amazingly addictive and it takes hours upon hours upon hours only uh, only to kill you in the end because there is no such thing as winning in that game just like minecraft and I love it I truly truly do love it it's an amazing game I uh, strongly recommend you uh, check it out if you enjoy insanely complicated games if you don't, you'd best stay away from that game, because that is very possibly the most complicated game ever created. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I believe this is a square room, isn't it? Sure it is. And now I'm thinking, uh... Well, I should make some storage somewhere, shouldn't I? Alright, fine. I'll, um... I'll place some temporary storage somewhere. I'll place some right here. Let me just uh, build a little crafting uh, crafting corner here, and then oh, I don't have enough wood on me. No. Oh well, we'll just make one chest. Should be fine. Let's see. Get some of this stuff in there. Get the bed in there. Need to keep this. Get this stuff in here. I've got some sticky pistons on me. Finally found some slimes. Hoping I can do some fun stuff with that because pistons are amazing. And I haven't really done many um many projects with them. And I really want to. So let's see. Oh, okay. That cleaned up our inventory quite nicely. Now what to do? Okay, we've got... Uh, did I bring some glowstone? I thought I did. Hmm, apparently I didn't. But I've got some pumpkins. So I could um, place some pumpkins, I guess. There we go. Place some pumpkins uh, in the top corners here. Oh, but I need to place them on soil, don't I? So I need to uh, chop a little more. I wonder why I didn't bring any glowstone. I thought I did. I honestly thought I did. Maybe I died. I do that sometimes. Dying. Not because I want to, but, you know, the creepers, they get to me. There we go. Some pumpkins. And then I need some soil blocks. I have some, yes. And bam. There we go. Not as good as glowstone, but not as pretty as glowstone, but It'll do. Or can I just... No, I have to, uh, I have to place this soil block here. I was right there. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see how that looks. Obviously, I have no more clean stone on me, though. Uh, well... Let's make, uh, let's make a furnace and make a little bit of clean stone, then. Obviously, I need this and 
this. There we go. It's coming back to me. Okay, well, that's cooking. I was kind of thinking I could make a water feature of sorts here, but... Does this room have a clear center? Oh, it does. Okay, let's, uh... Let's just mess around here. Let's, uh... Let's do something simple, like this. Well, it's not bad. But it's not good either, is it? And is that just me, or is the water glitching out? I've never seen it do that. Look at that. Huh. I wonder if it does it again. It does! I've never seen that before. <laughs> Must be new. Not in this direction. Just in these two. Three. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Interesting stuff aside, though, I just had a thought. If I do this... Ooh. Don't get stuck in the water walks. And I place glass over there. That might be pretty. I did that with the uh, lava in my castle. And I kind of like that effect. Yeah, now it actually looks like it's going somewhere. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, Get some stone out. There we go. I don't usually build on the ground, so I'm a little lost as to what to do. But I think this would be... Uh, eh, would be good enough for an entrance hall for now. What kind of materials did I bring with me? Not too much, but... I see some netherrack and I want... I actually saw a video on YouTube where someone used netherrack to make some very nice lights. So I want to try that out. I think I think it's going to be epic. Oh, I need a flint and steel for this though, don't I? Well, I have some iron on me. I'm sure I can find some flint. Actually, I think I picked some up earlier. And if that was less than five minutes ago... Maybe it's still there. No. No, it's not. Oh, well, we have some gravel here, so maybe I could... Um, let's check the chest first. No, definitely, definitely need some flint. Let's go grab some. Remember me saying I hated gravel? Ah, there we go. Some flint. Excellent. Where are my torches? There are my torches. There we go. Let's see. It's uh, flint iron. Yes. Look at me being pro. Crafting this right the first time. Burn cobblestone. Burn torch. Okay. So now that this uh, this should burn forever, right? And now I place the glass in front of it. That is epic. I like that. It's nice and uh, nice and cozy. Yeah, I I don't believe I never thought about that. <laughs> I always place torches behind it, but this is much more epic, isn't it? I uh, I'm kind of wondering where that fire gets the oxygen to burn. But then again, it's hellfire, isn't it? Because it's netherrack. So that do probably doesn't need any oxygen. There's probably no oxygen in hell anyway. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, Let's swim out of here. Speaking of no oxygen. Okay, now I want a, uh, a nice entrance this way. And this is going to be... Uh, what is this going to be? This is probably going to be the way to the storage area. And then the actual mine, because this is a mine, is going to go in that direction. And that mine is probably just going to be, uh, uh, hopefully, some caves connecting and uh, complete madness. If you go in there, you're probably never coming out again, is the idea. I wish I had more netherrack. Never thought I'd be saying that. Three is not enough. Oh, well. Let's see, let's uh, let's chop a room out here, shall we? I'm not just, I'm not going to make this a full functional base. Uh, 
It's mostly just uh, just a large mining project. I'll probably build some kind of tower or house outside. But um, I just wanted to build some fancy mines for no reason at all. How many in? One in. All right. There I should just line this uh, line this whole thing with some uh, some furnaces. And I've got plenty of uh, plenty of cobblestone, so let's make sixteen of those bad boys. So there we go. Place these on the walls. Which walls? Can hardly see. You probably can't see it all. Let's place some torches. See, that's nine of them. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we'll make another row over here. Because I'm uh, not exactly shy on cobblestone. Oh yeah, that should work. One, two, three, four more. Three more, actually, because I've got one here. There we go. No, there we go. Now one, two, three. There we go. And now uh, once that one's done, we'll just uh, pop that in there. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe. Ooh, that could save me a little bit of net nether rack. On the other hand, it's not like nether rack is difficult to get, so let's not do that. Let's uh, place some clean stone here. Get the nether rack out. And make another one of those epic lamps. Flint and steel. Bam. There we go. Yeah, I like those lights. They're pretty cool. And they do give off a lot of light, actually. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You fool. This is what you wanted to do. Pay some attention to what you're doing, Walks. Oh my goodness. There. I like that. That's pretty good. Okay. Coming along. Do I have four more pumpkins? I have plenty of pumpkins. I hear that they're farmable in 1.8. Don't care though, because uh, I'm starting a new world when 4.8 comes, comes out. 4.8? Seriously? What is wrong with me today? 1.8. <laughs> Once 1.8 comes out, I'm definitely restarting this server and hopefully... Um, you get to see uh, some guest uh, appearances by Marty, possibly. And hopefully some guest appearances by uh, someone else as well. But I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to tell you who yet, just yet, because uh, he probably doesn't like that, because we haven't really uh, discussed any details yet. But something quite fun should happen at some point in the future, probably uh, when 1.8 comes out. And hopefully that's going to be in like a month's time, I guess, maybe less, because uh, he said not sent something about 1.8 being previewed at something called PAX. And then I googled what the hell PAX was. Turns out it's some kind of huge event that I should have known about. And it is apparently uh, some like the 28th of August, maybe. Somewhere close to that date, anyway. And that actually... Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, half a month. So if he's previewing it then... That must mean that he's probably going to release it uh, sometime after that. Oh, I have an idea, but I'm going to have to do some math for it. Which is not my strong suit. It should be, because I'm a programmer. But no. Let's see. Uh, 
I am at level 40 right now. I want to go down about, say, 30 levels. Yeah, 30 levels is good. So, one, two, no, one, two, three, four, iron, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, this is so interesting to watch, I'm sure. One, two, three, four. What I want is to uh, extend the ceiling of this thing all the way uh, over there while the staircase is going down. So I forgot at what number I was, but I think I was at 20. I'm a little surprised we haven't hit a cave yet. There, this should uh, should be about right, I think. And what I'm going to do is chop this out for a bit. And then uh, once I'm done, I will resume the video and show you what, uh, what I cooked up. Oh my goodness. You know what I need? I need some TNT for this. Just realized. Because uh, I intend to stick this staircase all the way down whilst keeping all this well open. And I've been digging for, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes. And I haven't gotten very far. So let's dump some stuff in this chest. And then take a walk back to, uh, to the Wax Fortress. I'm going to take you along for the walk because I needed to uh, refresh my pickaxe anyway. And I do believe I have some diamonds lying around there. And while we're there, we might as well check out uh, how much gunpowder we have. Maybe we could make some TNT. Make this digging a, a bit more fun. And maybe take some minecart tracks along. <laughs> Sun is going down. Should I try to make a run for it? No way. I will uh I will go back inside, place a bed and have a sleep. And as soon as it is daytime again, I will uh I will resume the video. There we go. Daytime. Didn't take too long. And let's take our trusty map out. Yeah, this is the way. And we get to see some epic landscape on the way. And you can also see where this is um, in relation to the Wax Fortress. Oh. Oh, did you hear that? Oh. Oh, I'm guessing there's a spawner there. Maybe we should take a look. We could loot some some cocoa beans, huh? Oh my god, it is a spawner. Ooh, that is good. Let's uh let's think now. What what could we do uh about this? It's just a zombie spawner, but this is SMP. And zombies are very, very dangerous in SMP. But wait a minute. Wait a moment. I have an idea. I have a very good idea, even though I say so myself. We'll just flood the whole place with some sunlight. That will teach those zombies. Why are they not burning? The zombies, they're supposed to burn in the daylight, right? No, wait a minute, that's vampires, isn't it? Well, they're burning anyway. Minecraft needs vampires. Actually, never mind. Minecraft does not need vampires. Between the zombies and the endermen, I think I'm gonna have my hands full. There. I think that should stop the spawning. Let's 
turn off that F3. We know where the zombies are. Okay, let's go for it. Yo! Yes! <laughs> let's loot this place. Loot it, I say! We got a saddle, I'll take that, and some gunpowder. Got some iron. Cocoa beans, yes! And, uh, don't really need that other stuff. What I do want is this mossy cobblestone. Because that is quite a rare resource. No, not with the shovel to come across. Oh, I, I hope my pickaxe lasts. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come back here. And I don't want to come back here. Oh, just one second. Right. Sorry about that. Um, That was my father. Yeah, I probably didn't hear me. I hear it. But that was my father calling. Not because I am so young that I still live at home beaten, but because... Well, remember those nasty... Uh, those unfortunate events that I alluded to last episode? Well, they involve me living with my parents again. And, uh... Yes, I do say that like it's a bad thing. Actually, it's alright, but you know, I'm, I'm actually 24 years old. And that is too old to be living with your parents. So I'm actually looking for a new apartment now, and hopefully I will find one soon. Until then, I guess I will have to, uh, to do, to make do with the situation. The situation being a free meal, a free roof, and uh, unconditional love. Which is not too bad, I guess. <laughs> I'm not exactly selling it, am I? Ah, oh, darn it. No fiddlesticks. Oh, jellyfish. Let's climb back up. Not sure if I have to be up there, but... Ah, oh, look at these epic, epic mountains. Oh my goodness. Oh, Minecraft, how I love you. I hope that they will make uh, many, many more wonderful open world games in the future. And what? Oh, that's a tree. It's just in the distance. Many, many more wonderful uh, open world games like this. I really think that there should be more uh, more out there. I mean, there's, uh, let's see, what do we have? We have Terraria. That was pretty fun, but it didn't have the lasting appeal that I thought it would have. Uh. There, check me climbing, huh? That is how Woxes climb. Yes. Anyway, uh, let's see, what, what, do you ha what do we have? Open world games. I guess that's that Fallout 3 kind of game, but didn't really appeal to me. Played it for a while, liked it, didn't love it. Mm, what else do we have? We there's well, there's Dwarf Fortress actually. That's a completely different game, but ooh, let's take a peek. Oh, I was gonna take a peek for some diamonds, but oh well. Dwarf Fortress is also open world, uh, randomly generated biomes, whatnot. But completely different from Minecraft. Completely different. It's, uh, can't be compared. The only, uh, the only um, similarity, I guess, is that the uh, game is made of blocks, <laughs> which you can dig. Oh, I know that. I know that waterfall. We're almost at the uh, Wax Fortress. See, the grass is going, uh, going greener. And I know that if I want to make some tea and tea, I had better take some sand with me. Because I think I'm all out at the Wax Fortress. Thankfully, I have my diamond shuffle with me, so that should not take too long. There, that seems, uh, seems like plenty of sand. And if not, um, maybe I do have some left. Who knows? Ah, there's the modern house. The, uh... Ugly, ugly house. What's this? What is this? A door? Are you kidding me? What's... 
A sign? Where am I? What's going on here? Up, exit B, down caves, right caves, back, exit A? Exit A? What the frick is this? Left caves, right dead end. I don't believe them. There is... Eh, it probably is a dead end. Um, I have two... I don't have the health to be in here right now. Let's see what exit B is. What is this? It must be built by Mardi, though. Oh, is that exit B? Really? It's awfully close to exit A, don't you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. I had no idea that was there. I love finding stuff like that. That is why SMP is more fun. We're gonna go uh, take a peek down there. You know, I, I guess we'll we'll work on the mine some other day. I um, I feel like exploring that. So let's uh, let's go to the castle, get some supplies, and then uh, see what is down there. Maybe we can do a little caving. Seeing as this uh, this episode is getting a little long, though, isn't it? You know what we'll do? We'll uh, go to the fortress and then uh, end the episode. And the next episode, we're gonna go uh, take a peek down there. And continue work on the uh, the Waxian mines, the Waxian mines. I have some mines here as well, by the way, and some mushrooms that are escaping. Who knows? They became sentinel and now breaking out. That would be sentient, I do believe. <laughs> Still, that's pretty funny. This is my other mine. I wanted to place minecart tracks around here. That's why it's in a, such a spacey pattern. Didn't get too much out of that, though. Found a cave, I believe. I did show you this, didn't I? Yeah, I did show you this. How could I not have shown you this, huh? And I can also place this uh, this new mossy stone that we found. And the cocoa beans. Oops. Two cocoa beans, yes. <laughs> I'm feeling quite rich. So... Uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll end it here. We'll uh, explore those caves next time. Sorry for a slightly uneventful episode. But, uh, you know, better a slightly uneventful episode than no episode at all, right? I will uh, cut the video now and I will see you next time in episode 3 where we will check out those uh, mysterious caves. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.